Hi guys, my name is Gunnar Jemskal and welcome to a walkthrough of the Seuss Judgmental quest in Sims Free Play. This quest becomes available at level 16 and it is part of the main quest within Sims Free Play. So as soon as it becomes available to you, you will get a pop-up that you can start the quest. There is a time limit of three days for this quest. You can complete it after the three days, but obviously you won't win the limited time prize if you complete it after the three days. So by completing the Seuss Judgmental quest, we will be able to restore the Candlelit Fork restaurant in Simtown. If we complete it within the three day time limit, we will unlock some chef outfits for our adult sims. So the first thing that we need to do is to build the restaurant. There is a rundown restaurant in Simtown that has been out of use for a while. Rumour has it that it's just become available to your sims. It needs some serious foundation work though. Build the restaurant, it's on Simtown map. So come out onto your town map, I am already on it, and come down to the bottom left corner and it is flashing here. Here is the restaurant, go ahead and click on it. So again, as usual with these builds, the requirements could be different for you than they are for me, depending upon how many buildings you already have built in your sim town. So for me, the Candlelit Fork restaurant takes 16 hours and 30 minutes. It costs 100,000 simoleons and I need nine sims to be able to build it. Tasty entrees and romantic nights are both on the menu at Candlelit Fork, Simtown's latest taste sensation. Sample are spread from the kitchen, then sip a seductive cocktail from the bar upstairs. It's going to add a town value of 150000 When your restaurant is completed, you'll get this pop-up saying construction complete. So let's head out onto the town map. Once you're on the town map, just go ahead and click on the restaurant, and that is task complete to build the restaurant. The next thing we need to do is to... The next thing we need to do is to call a sim to the restaurant. So fantastic, your sims are anxious to take a look at the new restaurant. Call a sim to the restaurant now. So we need to go inside the restaurant. So this is the restaurant as it looks when you first start. A complete and utter mess and we have to clear it up. So let's call someone over. And then we need to be nice to the grouch. The restaurant looks like it needs some serious renovations. Is that the grouch standing at the front? What's he doing here? Be nice to grouch. So Grouch should just be standing at the front there. Go ahead and click on him and be nice for four minutes. Look at this complete and utter mess that is the restaurant. This is the first floor. And then upstairs is just as bad. We need to clear all this up. There we go. Grouch and Spencer are now acquaintances. We have finished being nice to him. The next thing that we need to do is to taste the Grouch's special dish. Once the Grouch was the chef in Simtown, but no one appreciated his fine cooking. Your sims aren't skilled enough cooks to take over the business, he grumbles. The Grouch offers your sim a taste of his signature dish. Try it. So if we click on him and taste his special dish for one minute. There we go, we have tasted the Grouch's special dish. Now, we need to complain to the Grouch. The Grouch's signature dish was disgusting, just like a mud pie. Complain to the Grouch. So click on the Grouch again and complain. That takes two hours and ten minutes. That is task complete. Complain to the Grouch. The next thing we need to do is to call the first judge on a phone. If your sims can pass the taste testing verdict from three wise judges, the Grouch will let your sims take over the restaurant. Intriguing. Let's get this competition going. Go home and call the first judge. You need to go home where there is a phone. So we are over at a house and this is a three star phone and to call a judge takes three minutes and 12 seconds on this three star phone. We finished talking to the first judge on the phone. The next thing we need to do is to take Wumples' order. The first judge has arrived. It's Wumples. What does a water safe bunny eat? Take Wumples' order and find out. She looks pretty excited. I like Wumples. Wumples will just arrive at whatever house you are at. So go ahead and click on her and take her order for five minutes. We have finished taking Wumples' order. Now we need to cook any dish for Wumples. Wumples says she's happy with anything. Anything, hey? Your sim can cook whatever they want. Have your sim cook something on the stove. So they will eat anything. So what we want to do is cook the quickest thing here. So we can go ahead and cook cheese and tomato on toast for one minute. Okay, so once the cheese and tomato on toast is finished cooking, just go ahead and click on it and that will be task complete, cook any dish for Wumples. Now we need to serve food to Wumples. So Wumples looks ravenous. Tap on a plate of food and serve it to Wumples. So just go ahead and click on the food and serve to Wumples takes 10 minutes. 
Okay, we have finished serving the food to Wumples. Now we need to call the second judge on the phone. Wumples gives your Sims cooking the thumbs up. Or is that pull up? Time to call the second judge. Who could it be? Call the second judge on the phone. So back over to the phone. Call the judge is 3 minutes and 12 seconds. Remember we are using a 3 star phone for this. If you are using a 2 star or a 1 star phone, it will take you slightly longer. We have finished calling the second judge on the phone. So the next thing that needs to do now is to take Santa's order. The second judge is none other than the captain of Xmas cheer, the president of presents himself. It's Santa. Take Santa's food order. So Santa has come to the front of the order. It takes five minutes. So you should just find whatever house you are in, Santa should just be at the front of that house. If there's any reason he's not there, I would suggest just going out onto the town map and then going back into a house and he should he should be there. We have finished taking Santa's order. Let's see what he wants. Cook pizza for Santa. Santa is in the mood for pizza. Oh, so am I. A simple meal will need serious flair if it's going to impress. Cook some pizza via a stove. So let's click on a stove and to cook pizza you need to be at cooking level 2. So you, if you haven't got a sim at level 2, what you will need to do is just cook cheese and tomato on toast or bacon and eggs continuously a few times until you get one of your sims up to a level 2 in the cooking hobby. I have just done some cooking with one of my sims and we've got promoted to level 2. We should be able to, there we go, we can cook a pizza for 40 minutes. So our pizza has finished cooking for Santa, so we'll go ahead and just click on it, and that is task complete. Cook pizza for Santa. The next thing that we need to do is to serve food to Santa. Santa is beaming at the pizza. Your sim just plated up. Serve the pizza to Santa. Oh my goodness, I couldn't half eat a pizza right now. Serve Santa. So what you need to do, actually, sorry, is click on the pizza. I wonder if, if you click... Actually, you can click on any plate. This is some toast that I'd made earlier, and it says serve to Santa for 10 minutes. And this is the pizza that we've just made, serve to Santa. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter. You can click on anything and just serve to Santa for 10 minutes. We've finished taking the Grouch's order. Now we need to make a quiche for the Grouch. The Grouch is unimpressed by the menu and took forever to choose, but has finally requested the quiche. Make a quiche via a stove. Note, unlock the quiche at level 4 of the cooking hobby. Keep cooking to get your sims there. So, as before, when we try to cook the pizza, we won't be able to cook quiche. There it is, because we need a sim at level 4. So let's get a sim up to level 4, and then we'll cook the quiche, which takes 4 hours. So just go ahead and make cheese and tomato on toast over and over again for 1 minute until you get up to level 4. Our sim is now level 4, so we can go ahead and make the quiche that we need to make. So click on the stove, that's the telly. Click on the stove and on cooking and quiche. Oh, we need a two star stove, okay. So we'll sell this stove and we will buy a new stove that is two star. The little stove that could. There we go. And now we'll go ahead and click on it. And there we go, quiche for four hours. So we have finished making the quiche. That is task complete. Make quiche for Grouch. We've earned a silver grater. The next thing that we need to do is to serve food to Grouch. The Grouch is tapping his foot impatiently, muttering, serve the food to the Grouch. So as like before, as with before, you can just click on any food and serve to Grouch for ten minutes. Now we need to investigate what the Grouch dropped. The Grouch says your sim's cooking is horrible. He storms off. Oh no, but what's that glowing X on the ground? I think the Grouch dropped something. Investigate what the Grouch dropped. So outside your house you will get an X. Click on the X and investigate dropped item for five minutes. We have finished investigating what he has dropped. The next thing that we need to do is to have a sim make mud pie. The Grouch dropped a musty old notebook. It was hard to read, but it seemed to have recipes on it. Mud pies, tar soup, and goop goulash. Gross. Wait, maybe that's what the Grouch likes to eat. Have a sim make mud pie in a garden patch. So let's click on a garden patch, and we have an option to make mud pie for 3 hours and 30 minutes. 
We've finished making the mud pie for Grouch. Now we need to go to the restaurant. Wow, that is an impressive mud pie. The Grouch will love it. Quick, make haste. Send a sim to the restaurant to give it to the Grouch. Perhaps he's still there. So go back out onto your town map and then head over to the restaurant. Click on it and we'll go inside. Go to the restaurant. Task complete. We didn't need to bring a sim over. Give mud pie to Grouch. There's the Grouch. Give the mud pie to him. Click on the Grouch and give him the mud pie for 4 hours and 20 minutes. Open the front door. The Grouch's eyes widen in delight. He's ecstatic about the mud pie your sim gave him. He said it was delicious and decided to give your sim the restaurant after all. The Grouch has one condition. Make mud pies for him after the grand opening. Unlock the front door to the restaurant. So click on the front door. And so there's requirements for this. It takes 1 hour 30 minutes and costs 25,000 simoleons. Make your sims feel welcome in your new restaurant by cleaning up the foyer. Essential to any classy restaurant, the foyer will give your sims a warm welcome as well as a place to wait if the restaurant is too busy. Once it is repaired, it will be flashing. So let's just go ahead and click on it and that is task complete. That is quest complete. Magnifique! Your sims have proven their cooking prowess and earned the candlelit fork restaurant. Now clear it out and get ready for business. And because we have completed it within the time limit, you've blown through the Seuss judgmental quest faster than a speedy whisk in a watery bisque and have won these dapper chef's outfits for your trouble. Find them in any wardrobes. We'll go and check out those prizes now. Oh, area repaired. The Dorsey restaurant has been fixed, but what a mess it is in here. Fix all the broken walls, floors and lamps, then clear all the junk out of the foyer. So as we've seen, this is the restaurant. It takes quite a while to restore it back to its former glory. You have to bring, I would recommend bringing as many sims over as you can. You can have 10 sims in one lot and just start cleaning this up. I will make a blog post about this. I will leave it down below in the description if you want to kind of check out how long it kind of takes and any other information about the restaurant. For completing this quest within the time limit, you win the chef's outfits, which are available for male and female adult sims. If you go into the outfit section of the wardrobe, and you will find that there you have a chef's outfit. Here is the female adult sim chef outfit, and here is the male sims chef outfit. So the next quest that becomes available to us is an alien concept weather machines. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it has helped you out with any questions that you may have. If you do have any more questions, leave them down below in the comments and either myself or another simmer can try and help you out. I've also got a blog post about this quest which I will leave down below in the description. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and I will see you guys soon. Bye!